about a number line. Now, this is coming back from term one, so we're kind of building on stuff that we haven't touched in a while. So that's why we've gone and revisited this. So assigning numbers on a number line, where does positive two or two go? Mm -hmm. um, do you want to draw it up? There, yep. Yeah. And negative nine, so you're going to do that for us as well. Cool. And let's do negative one as well. And everyone happy with what Kurt has written down or marked on the board? As a reminder, what is an integer? Cool. All good. Okay, a couple of hands already. The warm up might have given you a clue of what an integer is. I think we've briefly covered an integer in term one, maybe term two. Got two hands. You definitely know, so it's three, four, two. Yes. 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 yes or no as a class? Yes. Uh, negative one? Yes. Zero point five? No. no. Oh, good. Okay, what about 10.25? No. No. 17? Yes. Minus 257? Yes. Yes, and 2.000000. Oh, no. zero, 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 yeah. Hey. Yes. 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 Oh, yes. and one. No. no. Okay, cool. So you get. Yes. Ooh, exciting. Yes. Okay. So when adding positive integers, we move right. That's pretty standard, yeah? So if I think standard issue, five plus five, I move one, two, three, four, five. Five places going right because my numbers are getting bigger. Yep. We, that's how you would have learnt basic addition right, right, many, many years ago when you were in primary school. Now, if you add a negative number, you're actually going to move this way. So, if I say to you, 5 plus negative 5, I'm actually going to be looking, because when I see the plus, I look in this direction, but the negative means I turn around and I move in the same, the integer tells me how far, but I'm going to move to 5. Five places to the left. Oh, wait, that's okay, so adding positives, we move to, so I'm going to stand like this, right? When we're adding negatives, we go that way. So when you see adding negatives, you'll see it written like this. You'll see a number plus negative another number. So I'm going to read these out to you. We're going to go outside and do this now. So I'm going to leave that there. Add a negative number, you actually go in that direction. So how you can think of it is when you hear the word plus, we look in this direction. So towards the right, going making our numbers larger. But when you hear the word negative, you're going to do a 180 and put yourself in the direction for negative numbers. So the numbers are going to come smaller. So 5, positive 5, plus... So I'm standing this way, negative, sorry Jasmine, negative 5, it means I turn 180. Yep, so thinking, going in the right direction. Next one would be 3 plus, so back to 3. So checking them, guys, you should be helping them check and make sure that they're doing the right thing. 3 plus negative 6 plus. Three. So remember, plus is in this direction. Don't mess with my head, No, I'm trying to get you to think. Plus, we do 180, we move in this direction. Because when you hear the word plus, yep, you can see how your numbers are now getting bigger. So by looking in that direction and stepping with those numbers, you're going to get that. Okay. So the people on the whiteboard should be checking those people. Um, another one. And then we'll do a swap. Ne two plus negative nine. So two. So when you think two plus negative nine, now then you can move nine. Five minus negative two. Oh, I like how you do that. So you're like, nope, 
that way. Cool. Awesome. Negative eight. Negative eight. Minus negative two. 